Well, welcome to Plastic Palette Pros. I'm here with Sam Dunham. My name is Brian Robbins, and we just want to talk about some things that are being asked on Google right now about plastic palettes. So I'm going to ask Sam. He's our expert when everything plastic palettes. Uh, good morning, Sam. Good morning. How are you doing, Brian? I'm doing well. Hey, one of the top questions right now on Google is why are plastic palettes so brittle? It's a good question. And there's there's lots of different ways to look at it. The primary thing I would say to consider when looking at a plastic palette is the type of plastic that's used in that palette and the weight of that palette. So it really boils down to the use of the palette. Um, so there's, there's polypropylene and HDPE that are both used in the production of plastic palettes. There's additives that create impact resistance and also the thickness and the amount of plastic used in the palette all play a really big role. So like your one-way plastic palette that's meant to be a light weight, inexpensive, economical option that you're going to send it and forget it, basically. That palette's not really made for a lot of impact resistance. It's lightweight. It's meant to be low cost. So that palette's not going to hold up to abuse anything like a more expensive or a heavier duty stackable, rackable palette made with HDPE. That palette is built for far more impact resistance. Then there's the type and style of palette and how it's produced. So whether it's injection molded, rotation molded, whether it's thermoformed. So there's different styles of palette that are made really for different environments. So it kind of depends like, is it gonna be used in a freezer? Is it a multi-trip palette? How are you gonna be using it? So there's, there's lots of questions that we will ask to try to better understand your use of that palette to make sure that we're providing a palette that's going to do what you need it to do. Overall, plastic is a very durable product Product, makes a great palette and it can be a palette that lasts you for many years of use. So it kind of reminds me of you get what you pay for. Oh, absolutely. You know, absolutely. and it's and and you want to you want to buy what's you what's going to serve the purpose that you have. So if you're, you know, just like buying plastic glasses or plastic cups, if you're having a party where someone's going to use a cup one time and throw it away, we've all been to those places where you pick it up and if you squeeze it a little too hard, the plastic absolutely. just breaks in your hand. Yeah. But we've also had plastic cups that you're looking at going, is this glass or plastic? It's it's so durable and so thick that you're not even sure you know what it is because it's a very durable plastic cup. And it's the same way with plastic pallets. You can buy a plastic pallet that you're only going to use to go one way. It's gonna be used one time and you don't want to put a lot of money into that plastic pallet. Right. But then if you have a pallet that you're using in racks, it's holding a tremendous amount of weight, you're gonna reuse it again and again, then it really matters what's in that palette. And that is why you wanna make sure you reach out to one of our pros and Absolutely. to find out what's best going to uh, fit your needs when it comes to plastic pallets, because they're not all created the same. And for those people that understand wood pallets, you know, the other thing I would point out is you have hardwood pallets, you mm -hmm. have softwood pallets. Right. And they're not the same. A hardwood pallet's going to be able to hold a considerable more weight uh, than a softwood pallet. And even in the softwood market, you have certain lumber that's not nearly as hardy as another softwood Absolutely. tree. And even in the wood pallet business, one way that they've used to keep costs down is reducing like the thickness, for example, going from a 5 8 inch thick board to a, a 7 16 or half inch board or from an inch and a quarter stringer to an inch and an eighth. So those concessions have been made in the wood world as well. And when you get into different lumber and different and thinner components, you're also going to have a wood pallet that doesn't hold up as well. And traditionally, pallets have been viewed as you know, you use it and, and you're done with it. And when you start looking at your investment in a plastic pallet, like you said, you get what you pay for, but also looking at that pallet as an asset changes how you handle that pallet, which also is a factor that sometimes doesn't get built into looking at the longevity of a pallet. But when you're looking at how you handle that pallet, how you view that pallet as an asset, as opposed to just a commodity, um, it, it changes how it's handled and it also increases the longevity of the use of that pallet in the marketplace. So. You know, one of the great things about plastic pallets also, and, and you know, there's a lot of times where a wood pallet is the right answer. And then there's there's times where a plastic pallet is going to be the better answer. And that's why we want to be able to talk with you, you know, with our customers and potential customers to be able to see what best suits their needs. But when it comes to plastic pallets, what are some things you can add for extra strength? Oh, you can. There's there's a lot that we can do from additives into the plastic to steel rods, um, carbon fiber, fiberglass rods for support. Um, and, and as we mentioned, the different styles of plastic pallets and, and different kinds of plastic. So there's lots of different 
ways that we can look at that plastic pallet to ensure you're getting a pallet that's gonna meet your needs, that it's strong, that it's durable, it'll hold the weight that you need it to hold. Um, so unlike wood, if you came to me and asked, hey, I wanna buy a wood pallet, lots of times they don't ask a lot of questions, they just sell you a wood pallet. Plastic, we're gonna ask a few more questions because we wanna make sure that we're getting the right product for you. And, and we also have many used plastic pallets. So it's a great opportunity to look at a pallet and kind of try the plastic pallet, see how it works out and reduce your cost of entry into that by, by looking at a used plastic pallet as well. Thank you for listening to this episode. We have uh, lots of different pallets that are able to serve your needs, whether you're needing a pallet that holds a few hundred pounds, or maybe you need a pallet that holds tens of thousands of pounds. Uh, you need a pallet that's going to be a one-way pallet. That's just, you're gonna send it out and never see it again, or you're using a pallet over and over again in your production or in your warehousing. Uh, we have the pallets to be able to serve all of those needs. We encourage you to call and contact one of our pros today to be able to answer those questions. We're very appreciative of all of our customers and all of those that are exploring the possibilities of plastic. So thank you and look forward to talking with you again soon.